well, yo. I say, I can I you call me up, up, up. Now money be fine, but, 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 Modest Lifestyle, welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the top? Of course, you and I were here. We're back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder, if you love me, I love you back. I love you, what, what I love you back. What? Backpackers everywhere, lazy people everywhere. You guys, you got no idea. Hey, where's my backpacker? Hmm. Just one day off. Yesterday we didn't make it, and come and see. I was asking myself, what is going on? Coco, mama, I don't think I'm feeling good. Then I remember that I did not film, guys. I overslept. Hey, who made it to the table apart from you and I? Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. Me, I got my borrow of water here. Weekend special, TGIF. You guys got no idea. Hmm. Hope you enjoyed that little, little intro here and there. Oh, yeah, shake, buddy. Hey. Oh, yeah, shake, buddy. Oh, yeah, shake, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sandy, oh, Wendy, oh, oh Sandy, oh, Wendy, oh. I see the pain them in the sweet house. I see the sweetest, he depend them. Hey! You guys should leave me alone. I don't want somebody to come and tell me, Coco Mama, better concentrate on your reaction. We don't want you to sing because we don't understand this kind of voice of yours. Eh? <laughs> this kind of your masculine voice, masculine voice. On a more serious note, mm -mm 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 -mm, stop it. Leave me alone in my small corner. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Guys, hey, Coco Mama of the Most High is here. Of course, you are here. <laughs> we are always here. We are back to the base. This is all we do here. This is what we know how to do. You understand? <laughs> we are all in our departments. Mm -hmm. You are in your department and you are restless. Imagine buying a plane ticket as expensive as flying all the way from London to Jamaica. Guys, we made it to Jamaica. One leg, eh? Another leg is in Silicon Valley of Africa, aka Yabohanse, aka Kangawood. You guys, imagine spending your money, huh? Well, how expensive tickets is these days? After spending a man a leg to buy your tickets, all you do with your audience is to complain about lazy gang. Oh, the pepper them. Mm, they don't know the tingo. Show them the tingo. This is all you can talk about you understand there's no other conversation there's no other meaningful stuff there's no other meaningful thing you can discuss with your audience apart from talking about reactors day in day out okay i don't know that we are this important here just like they said you understand they will always give us something to talk about and that's why we're here d of donatus association of kenya made it to the table kino the kino our sweetest Sugar Daddy is on this table. The Kengas are always here. The house boy, I forgot his name. You guys should pardon me. I mean the guy that looks after the horse. Congress mom, everybody is here. Davu Junior, hey! Yabohan's view is not your mate. As soon as he left the village, you understand? As soon as he left the drama zone, hmm? the view started doing what? Doing a younger, shaking body for the Virginia. Of course, until he brings the drama, he has to be dramatic. He has to bring drama in Nairobi. And of course, you will see stuff happening. What do you mean? Guys, my own is too much. I don't wanna. Coco Mama, concentrate, stop it. Which one is which one now? Where do we start, guys? Before A quick recap. Let me say something here. I saw one or two people, most of you guys agreed with me that Christmas list is overdoing. You don't go to, as a vlogger, you understand? Coco girl, a lot of people want to go to Haiti now, and they were told to stay away. Except if you are going there as a volunteer, except if you are going there 
as a social worker you go in there as someone who is in medical field of course you have to register with charity organization or un something like that you know that's for you to go there and when you go there you don't just record you let people you relieve them console them give them psychological and emotional support offer them whatever you need to offer them then you leave you don't go recording them and yabbing and yabbing so I saw a few comments and I want to address it here. I'm not going to read it out because we've got no time to start reading comments. But I just want to address it because the guys that drop these comments, they know themselves. They said that no, Chris is a good guy. Chris is a nice guy. I never said that he's a bad guy, but he has bad belly. We call it bad belly. He has bad mind. Mm? His mind is what? Dirty. I didn't say that he's a bad guy. What we are talking about here is. You did this one year ago. After a day you interviewed this person, this person died. It's still not enough for you. You're still going to bring it back and now claim that, oh, this one that you want to share now, you've never shared it. 80% of it, nobody has seen it. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me because it's still the same video. Whether you decided to cut out some and share some, and now you decided to make money out of this other one that you didn't share. Meanwhile, this person has passed. He knows exactly what the condition of that country is. He knows what the people are facing in that country presently. I saw another comment, someone telling me that anyway, this person we're talking about, it's not like he died in church. It's not like he's a Christian or he's holy. This person we're talking about is a gang leader. Anyway, he knows that at some point he will die. Why dying just immediately after? Chris interviewed him because of sneaker, because of pair of sneaker. Eh? Why dying immediately after? This is what we are talking about. Our people are being taken advantage of, and we cannot let that happen. There are so many of them here. Coco Boy is the same. Coco Girl is the same. By their fruits, we know them. You can't tell me anything. Guys, can we bring the backpackers here? Let's start from the Kenya because his own is too much. D will not learn. I don't know whether I should start from D because my energy is too hot. My blood is very, very hot this morning. You guys should leave me alone. Let's start from Kenge. Last week, Kenge met with his mom. Remember when he was telling his mom, please, I don't want you to call me when I start traveling, asking me for money for vegetable. You better start growing your vegetables now. Your skumawiki, all other, your spinach, every other vegetable that you need to grow. Start growing them now because once I travel, I don't, cannot entertain you asking me for vegetables. You remember that clip? I shared it here. Then Congress mom asked him, how about the horse training? How is it going? Here, Baba Marwa, the guy that is taking care of this horse is training this horse locally. We need to get someone who is a professional to train these horses before we start traveling or when we start traveling. Yeah, how Maybe. far have you gone with the training? Training is doing very well. Yes. But uh, the new boy is training them locally. He doesn't know that these things are trained professionally. Yes. But we'll bring a professional trainer yes. to handle the horses for one month when we are not here. Yes. So they will be trained and, and then... This place, yeah? So far we train them. Yes, yes I train them. Yes. You see? But Baba Marwa is not happy with this guy that is currently looking after the horses. Then someone alerted me and showed me the channel of this guy. This guy is actually posting. Have you seen it? Have you seen how Mr. Kenge is so ungrateful? Have you seen how Mr. Kenge is so mean? No wonder. Look at him. Tell me your friend and I will tell you who you are. Look at his likes. Who brought Coco Girl to Africa? Mr. Kenge. Who brought Coco Boy? Who brought Chris Mosley? Mr. Kenge. Have you seen the way they are rubbishing our people? Have you seen what they are doing? They give us peanuts. They give us... Guys, I was telling you guys yesterday that these guys, if they must come and record... We don't care whether you are a travel vlogger, you are doing it for awareness, you are, you are a nice person, oh, you are a giver, oh, oh, he's a good guy, he's a good, tell me who is not, I'm a good girl, I'm a good lady, I'm a good mama. <laughs> hey, who will tell you that he's not good? 
So I was saying that they must give in something, no matter how little or no matter what. They must give. As soon as this one is equal to money, Canada is equal to money. Big one for that matter, because these guys, they make millions on top of our head. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that this is even far from it. The worst part of it now is when they are giving, what they are giving us is nothing. It doesn't make sense. They give us peanuts and they collect cows from us. They collect millions of dollars from us and they give us peanuts. Is this one not wickedness? Is this one not evil art? If it's not wickedness, then I don't know what it is. These guys. So, this time around, we must open our eyes as black people, especially Africans. Eh? Because our black people in Yankee, they have fought and they are enjoying their freedom now. Nobody will come and put them here. No, it will not happen. Let Christmas go to ghetto. We know we have ghetto in Yankee. Let him enter ghetto. Someone was even asking him, let him go to Canada. There are slums in Canada. Let him go there and show us. Go there and record. Show us their condition. And see if they will not gun you down. Big time. You guys should leave me alone on a more serious note. I'm tired of these guys. So, this time around, we, another thing we need to start doing now. Number one is, they must give. Number two is, when they are giving, we are looking. What are they giving? Is it worth it? How heavy is, is it? This content that they are about to collect from us, we will need to weigh it. If it's not measurable, they should bring down their camera. Enough is enough. Mr. Kenge is useless. He's a very stupid guy. He rubbish this horse boy. Rubbish him, rubbish him like, oh, he's not training them professionally. Guys, mind you, this guy said something very powerful. He said that those horses are now eating sand. Those horses, there are no grasses anymore in Marwa's compound. Even the other place that they normally send those horses, there are no grasses. This guy on his own, according to him, there are three other guys. But because Marwa is not paying, and this guy volunteered, imagine you volunteered to help someone. You volunteered to help me clean my house. I'm going to come and tell you that you are not a professional cleaner. That I must get a professional cleaner. Is this one not wickedness? Are you telling me that this guy is not insane? Are you telling me that everything is okay with Papa Marwa? You're not paying someone. The, so, the person is helping you wholeheartedly. Using all his energy, his strength. How these guys feed. How these guys survive. How they look after their families. Because mind you, it's not just in East Africa. It's across Africa. At 22, you see someone with three children. Responsibilities here and there. That is how people start losing their wives. Because the woman will be looking, looking. Nothing to feed the children. What will she do? She's out of the door. If she sees someone that will give her little, little change here and there, she's gone. She's fed up with the marriage. This is it. Why? Because there are no jobs. Okay, you bring out yourself to do all these handy jobs. People will start taking advantage of people that are better than you already. Tell me why Marwa cannot pay people decent money. That he, we, you and I, we know that he's making this money here. You're telling me that this guy is not wicked. So like I was telling you guys, this guy, hey, as soon as I stumble into his channel, come and see how I enjoyed the content. Pure, unedited. Truth, pure truth, like Yami. He spoke his mind. He said, the vent that's supposed to come and the one, the horses, is doing corner corner because of what? The money. I'm going to let you guys see these things because to me, I like proofs. It's very, very important. I know I'm getting lazy this time because I talk a lot. <laughs> Someone dropped a comment. I was like, you talk too much. Go create your own content. I'm like, hey. You have all this time to listen to somebody who is just blabbing and talking. Eh? You didn't see all the content creators. The only person you listen to, because you have to listen to me in order for you to conclude that I may talk at sleep. If you don't listen to me, you will not know. So you got the time to sit down, be listening to me. This is my talkativeness. Finish listening to me. Enter the comment section. 
And then you are now letting me know. Something that I know that I know. <laughs> hey. This one I know that I'm a talkative. Mm. My family members, they know. Everybody that, that is around me knows. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Save your energy. Look for people that are not talkative on YouTube. People that, the channels that when you go there, they're like this. Even when somebody puts shit inside your mouth, you will swallow it and be like this. Look for those kind of channels. You are in wrong place here. Like I'm saying, this horse boy was like, yeah, the vent needs to come. They warm the horses. The horses still, I'm struggling. I'm trying my best because I volunteered to do this. The horses need more grasses. Guys, look at the ones that I have caught. Why is Marawa not appreciating people that are there for him? Why is this guy so ungrateful? Why? My blood pressure is very high. I hate stuff like this. And I want to challenge this boy. You must not lick his ass. You must not volunteer. When somebody is rubbishing your hard work here, you're making all the effort. Because according to him, there are three other guys that are supposed to help him cut the grasses for the horses. Because he, he said it that these horses are struggling. They don't have enough food. They are not dewormed. And he said that he's going to meet with Marwa to convince Marwa to look for another vet doctor that can do this. Because the one that they booked to do this is doing Kona Kona Rin. These other three guys that are supposed to help him cut grasses for the horses. They are not eager because they need money. And I don't blame them. And of course, even though when you eat, what do you use to take care of yourself? Money. You use money to chase money. You cannot expect someone because you are a travel commando. Oh, I told you guys to book appointments. Huh? But when somebody offers to come and do stuff for you, when somebody brings full stop, one day this guy will be poisoned. We are lucky. One day. Ha! Ah. Guys, I'm not joking, no. People like this, before you know it, someone, even his enemy, will bring something and poison him because he likes cheap things. Get man, I'm here. I brought some food stuff. I'm Chef Coco Mama. I've been watching Marowa for more than 15 years. He's an amazing guy. He inspired me a lot. I just, this is just my little way of appreciating him. I want to cook this for him and his beautiful wife. Did I hear him saying our wedding date? Hey! This guy is so shameless. And Rororo, Rororo was even reminding him. Like, seriously, is this one even a reminder? Is this one even discussion? Yani, is this something you should be discussing with someone who you want to settle down with? Nobody needs to tell you that if you want to marry a woman, you want to keep a woman forever, you need to let their parents be aware. It has nothing to do with culture. Whether Argentina culture is such that you can just see a guy today and you move in publicly, Yanni. You have devalued yourself. You, you have rubbished yourself, Yanni. You have told the world that you've got no values. You do it plainly, like openly. Because I can guarantee you now, Rororo is reminding Marwa to come see her parents just because of all these things that we're saying. You've got no idea. This guy is doing all this. And you go to Marwa's channel. You will never hear him mention. Rather, he will rubbish the effort. He will rubbish the hard work. He will rubbish everything. That's why he was bold enough to tell his mom that this guy is not training the horses properly. Meanwhile, what this guy is doing, you and Rororo that brought this wahala on top of your heads, will not do it even for a minute. You can't take care of those horses. And you need to appreciate this guy. You are evil. You need to appreciate him. Because number one, you are not paying him. And it's not even like he's gaining, like, I can understand if he's making a lot of money. Let's say he's getting 10,000 views, 15,000 views. I'm not even sure if this guy is monetized because he's new to the compound. He's new. Let's watch him. Because, Mama, I don't want to lie to you. I hate stuff like this is pure injustice. This is pure wickedness. This is an abuse. We can't let this be happening. We are still waiting for the lawyer, so. Quick reminder. You should, we've been telling you, you know what to do. You have the money. Mom, I'm very rich. Mom, hey. 
Rich people, big man. We call them big men in Nigeria. If you are rich, we call you big man. Eh? The big men, they don't open their mouth to say that they are rich. The big men, you see it yourself. Their action is to be oozing all over. When a big man passes you like this, you'll be like, what is happening here? I can't. Of course, money smells. It smells. It, and it doesn't smell like caca. <laughs> hey. Hey, oh my goodness. The same audience that you are telling that you are big. Mom, I'm this big guy. I'm this famous guy. I've made it. Eh? This is no longer that your son that used to take care of animals with no shoes, that went to school with no shoes. Mm? <laughs> Even Congress mom. If I look at Congress mom like this, I will be like, you see this woman? Eh? Very evil mind, bad mind. Mm. We wish her quick recovery because as we are speaking, it looks like actually that hand is fractured. I don't understand why the fingers are so swollen. Edematous. The fingers are so edematous. The fingers are swollen, swollen, swollen. Indicating that that finger is not getting enough circulation. Blood is not flowing like normally as it's supposed to. That's what is indicating. It means again that she is not moving the hand. Probably because she was hanging it and according to her, the their brain doctor, the, bro the, the doctor that they saw in their brain, in their dream doctor, told mama that she can now drop the hand, she can now move the hand and do it like this and do it like this. Now, it seems mama is dropping that hand too much. Now, she needs to elevate it so that it will increase circulation. And she needs medical attention. It's written all over her. We can tell. We are not children. But what do we know? So, guys, let's watch Mr. Kenge. This guy. Eh? And this rich guy. The same time, you're telling your audience how rich, how successful. If someone told me that, you know, in three years, I will have this kind of mansion, I will never believe it. Okay, all these things happened. What impact are you creating in the lives of your people? What are you doing? You are bringing people that will come and record them and take advantage of them. No wonder in Masamara they wanted to beat Christ up. Now I know why they wanted to beat him up. Shout out to you, AL. Baby girl was telling me that I need to go look for that video that when he went to Somali, Somali people came for him. Actually, they were on YouTube bombarding him because apparently he was throwing money on them. Mm? What an insult. The audacity. Because he's just fetching drinking water. Yeah, actually what is just drink good for drinking. Baby gonna take you to where what is coming from? It's just coming from that that hole, guys. Can take a look how. Okay, thank you. It's just fishing water. Okay, you on. just continue fishing water. Yeah. I'm just me. I'm just walking along to find the some of the glasses. Okay. Yeah. We are meet, We can meet at the, another day. Support me by watching the video until the end, so that I will reach to my watching hour. At, but I'm still working on it you can take a look it is full 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 of glasses actually now guys i think the horses are on a safety hand because i do every day collect some of the glasses to them yeah but the only issue it is the warming no the vet always say that he he will come to deworm them but we have never seen is like those those vet they are like corner cornering so maybe we need a consultation, a proper consultation to Bosimaro so that he can manage on other vets so that they can come and deworm the horses. Yeah, there is there like two to three boys at the Medellin guys, but you know people are different. People, people's hearts are different guys. You know they cannot be like Moges. If Moges is always volunteer for that, they cannot be like Moges. So actually, they do want money so that they can work. Yeah, but for me, guys, I cannot wait for that horse to 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 struggle. And the mere I'm just around 
that is so bad that I want for money. Then I work. No, no, guys. Usually I need to make one thing to be on. The, I want to make everything to be on light position, guys. That's why I do volunteer and work on one heart, guys. Yeah, people are just. Yeah, I'll just corner cornering. They, they want something so that they can work. Yeah, guys. So let me start packing them. The maize sack is just right here. Uh, keep watching. Let's go, guys. Actually, I think I'm done. What's the remaining? Is maybe to add a little bit to fulfill the that sack. Yeah. Then I'll start on my way back to the villa. Guys, can take a look. Actually, I was talking that this place is somehow swampy. Take a look. There, all of it is swampy. There is water here. That's why I'm just wearing the gumboots to avoid some of the miscellaneous, miscellaneous effects like the snail, which can cause the brihaza. Yeah, and uh, maybe I will find the gloves so that I will wear to my hand because. The glass that I cut, they do. They do. I don't know how to speak it in English, but they in a wash. Guys, did I hear him saying that that water is good for drinking? Hey, if you are in Yabohanze and you are drinking this particular water that we have seen, make sure you filter it. Make sure. You boil it. Hey, I know, guys, the struggle is real. You have to make do with what you have. Most people actually struggle to put food on the table. Think of buying bottled water or sachet water. There's one we use in Nigeria. We call it sachet water. It comes in bags. I feel sorry for this guy, guys. Honestly speaking. Let's move to D. Where is Coco Girl? Before we move to Jamaica, where is our Coco Girl? Of course, Drama Rama. There's another clip of her that we're going to watch when she was in Jamaica with D. Coco Girl was dramatic, dramatic because the rats did not allow them to sleep. The rat was eating their fingers, eating their legs, even eating her hair. <laughs> hey, what does that tell you? Dirtiness. Dirtiness. The rats. Rats can only eat stuff that is pleasant, stuff that is smelly. Something that is sweet. So these ladies, they need to watch these things. How can a woman be, how can a lady be eaten by a, a rat to just then that they couldn't sleep there? It was so chaotic. Anyway, let's move to D. You remember how D was all about, you know what, I'm not going to spend on any man anymore. Oh, I've been spending on men. No man has ever taken care of me. It has always been me. Going up is me. Going down is me. On top of it, I will still lay my back. On top of it, I will still give them my fame. Eh? They want, give me, give me, give me, give me. They just want to knock me finish. Knock me up and down. Knock my bank account. Knock my papers. Knock everything about me. What do I get in return? Nothing. Heartbreak. Mm? Our sugar daddy Kino is still looking like He's losing his mind. Meanwhile, he knows what he's doing. This kino can insult. Hey, you have to pay attention. If you don't understand Jamaican accent, you will not know that this kino. Kino was telling me, I brought your jacket. You need to go and cover yourself. Hey, cover your yama yama, you know? You know when you wear sleeveless and you, 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 hey, things will be oozing out like, <laughs> you Oh, Kino was like, you need to dress up. What is this? Huh? Look at Esther, Kino's cousin. Kino's cousin, this is what we have. You guys can look here. Look. There's this other girl, Karen. She's all over. I think she's Kino's sister or something. She's all over. Anywhere she sees any comment, people telling thee to leave Kino alone because Kino is a married man. Hear her complaining. Oh, he's not married. Hear her fighting and fighting everywhere, every corner. I think she was the one that even threatened the CEO that she's going to report her. We're still waiting for her. She's everywhere. Why is she fighting for Kino? Kino can fight for himself. Kino can address his audience. Kino can clear the air. Period. These people, 
They have too much time, honestly. This is how they are also in the comment section of D. And D is busy entertaining them. They don't know the thing go. Keep giving it to them. Keep giving them sleepless night. Who is giving me sleepless night? <laughs> I can sleep as I'm talking to you like this. I'm not joking. If I keep quiet like this, if it's time for me to sleep, that is how sound my mind is. When it's time for me to go to bed, I can be like this and the next thing you will hear is... <sighs> As I'm sitting like this, I will be snoring and in a deep sleep. Who is giving me sleepless nights? They've not bought that person. <laughs> we are purely here to react. You give it to us, we collect it. You act, we do what we react. You misbehave, we collect it from you and show you how it is. We're not doing it because we're perfect. We're actually learning from these things. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to be receptive. They don't want to understand how this reaction thing works. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hmm. So, you know, was like to Baba Marowa and Roro Roro because Roro Roro is a pure, pure gold digger. <laughs> the, the digger that she came to Yabahaze with is a big one. <laughs> She's been digging. Eh, come on, hear them. Eh, guys, I even forgot to react on their Q&A. Here Maro were claiming that they will be getting married. How dare you? Where's the ring? How dare you talk about marriage when you've not even engaged this girl? And I've heard Maro very clearly that he doesn't want to engage Roro Roro because he may not want to, because he knows if he gives this girl a timeline, if he gives this girl a date, Yani, we're gonna marry in May or middle of May or end of May, it will choke him big time. Hey, of course, you think Marwa really wants to marry Roro Roro? Think about it again. He knows the game, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> well, they are just this is another joke from Baba Marwa. I'm sure by now Roro Roro should know that Marwa is choking. Eh? And you can tell that she's peace, 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 when they were doing this their useless QA. He told them that, you know what, uh, this 2024, I'm going to look after myself. And I'm not going to let any man to use me. I'm not going to let any man to make me pay his bills. I'm not going to do it anymore. You don't want to pay for your meal? I'm done with you. You don't want to pay for your hotel room? I'm done with you. Is it happening? No. Tell me why she will be in a hurry. Hurriedly, she came to Kenya. Hurriedly, she's left. Hurriedly, she went to UK. Hurriedly, she's back to Jamaica. And hear her saying, I'm sorry, Kenyans, but I love Jamaica more. Are you not stupid? Yeah. Do you have Lamborghini? This other guy that she met on the street and told this guy, do you have Lamborghini? I'm like, this one is in now. It has, if you are using this for content, if you are using this to make us talk about you, it's no longer moving. You are actually dealing with I mean, you are actually rubbishing your content. Because the audience will be like, what is this? What is she doing? This is, what is she still talking about? Lamborghini, Lamborghini. Like, seriously. Are you serious? <laughs> Even when she jumped into Kinoska, she was like, okay, oh, so nice to ride in Lamborghini. Lamborghini. I love the response that this Jamaican guy gave D. This guy was like, yes, I have my Bola Guinea. Hey! Enough Bola Guinea to hammer you and deal with you and reset your brain. <laughs> the guy was so funny. And the guy could see that D is afterwards. Jamaica passport. Of course. Passport C is everywhere. How dare you talk about no matter what home is home. No matter how bad your home is. You want to move somewhere because the place looks good. Yes. But it shouldn't make you rubbish your country. Oh, I'm sorry, Kenya, but I love Jamaica more. <laughs> you love Jamaica more. You then why are you coming back to Kenya? Why do you still tell people you are from Kenya? Hi, I'm D from Kenya. Hmm? You should tell them that you are from Jamaica. Silly girl. Anyway, let's start watching them because the point I have here is she still went ahead to spend on Kino. When they went out to buy food, food stuff, vegetables, I was expecting that, okay, Kino will pay. 
and I saw Kino paying. They bought this, Kino paid, they bought this, Kino paid. Off camera, she gave money to Kino. You see how this girl is very, very smart. Off camera, she gave money to Kino. On camera, Kino returned her change to her. <laughs> Kino is embarrassing this girl. Kino is rubbishing her without her knowing. She hide from her audience when she gave money to Kino. So that you do the same thing she did with uh, this other Filipino guy, Jeju. That's what she did with Jeju. When they went to Thailand, Jeju was like, the one paying, JV was paying, JV was the one paying, you know, when they buy stuff, you know, they would be like, oh, I want coconut drink, and JV, can you buy me coconut drink? And JV would bring out his wallet and his paying. I'm like, hey, mama, stop it. We know it's not JV's money. He's not working. So who is rubbishing who here? Uh, who is deceiving who? You think we are children? Well, after she did that off camera. <laughs> when they were driving out from the marketplace, Kino handed the change to her and be like, this is your change. I don't want tomorrow you will come and claim that you spend one million on me. One million Jamaican dollar on me. Take your change in front of everybody. What a shame. You can't even allow this guy to spoil you for a minute. How much is your ticket from London to Jamaica? You've been going around. This girl is a street girl. Nobody can tell me anything. She's purely, she got no class. I know I'm a boutique. I'm, I know I'm a ghetto woman. You understand? She's been traveling 41 countries. When is she going to go to a new country? Huh? This is becoming irritating because, guys, this girl is doing all these things, okay, to make us talk because we're going to talk. We're actually saving her from all this nonsense. She's doing all these things, but this guy is not giving you that energy that you are giving him. This guy is flat, flat. I don't know if this guy is even watching her videos. Probably she needs to be watching because during Kino time, we were hammering this thing like this until it happened. Why we are saying this thing is during Jay's view time, we were hammering it, hammering it like this. And... Her audience kept insulting us. Oh, these women, these women are evil. Oh, they are jealous of you. They are jealous of your success. Can't you see they cannot do without you? Can't you see they cannot feed you without you? They cannot basically do any content without you. <laughs> they are saying like that because you check my videos here. There's nothing that D has done that I've not done. I've done travel content. I may not have gone to 40 countries, but at least... I've done something, no matter how little. But they don't see it that way. And D herself is a reactor. All of them, what are they doing? They are reacting. And they come back to insult us and call us names. What are they doing? Reaction. So these guys got no brain at all. Now, you are doing all these things. Why can't you keep your money? There they are again. Someone came and cleaned the windscreen of Kino. And after this guy finished, they do the same thing in Nigeria. You know, at the traffic, you see someone trying to wipe your screen for you. So you have to give in something to that person. You must not, but I mean, how can you not? Okay? That's a better way of begging, you know? Instead of just asking someone, can you give me something? That's a better way. You get a liquid soap, get something like a wiper, and then wipe the screen. And at the end, the driver will give you something. Here, D, handing in a big note, as she claimed. She said, oh, this guy doesn't know I know what I'm doing. I gave him a big note. Kino didn't want to give this guy money. Actually, this guy was expecting Kino to give, you know, as the guy, you know. The guy will not go to D and start asking for money, even though... D was there in the front of the car. But the guy was already like communicating with Kino. Kino looked at the back, looked at Esther, looked as if he wanted to get money from Esther. Probably he got no money on him. You know, some guys are very clever. You understand? Not that they don't have money, but they will purposely, intentionally leave their ATM card at home. <laughs> Especially when they know that you are crazy about spending. You remember? This audience that advise her to be careful the way she's spending because she's using it now to pepper reactors, but she doesn't know that uh, <laughs> she's actually giving us something to do here. Mm -hmm. 
spending, spending, spending. When they got to the beach, of course, they had to eat. Again, off camera, Madame ordered their food. Because if Kino could not give something to the guy that wiped his screen, okay, do you think he has money to pay for their food? And if it was Kino that paid for that food, G will capture it. Probably we need to go and look at Kino's side because both of them are vlogging. You understand? D might edit something out because she knows that we will talk about it. Why Kino will not? Something like that. Stuff like Kino is basically living his life. Kino is basically giving us this vibe that, okay, she's my work colleague here, my, my YouTube buddy. She's my YouTube buddy. She's just a girl, that random girl, that's okay. <laughs> she helps me get my views. She helps me. She basically makes things happen for me on YouTube. I get my views. I get my subscribers. My channel is peaking whenever she's around me. So every other thing, even if I don't love her, even if I don't have any feelings for her, but for the fact that there's something I'm benefiting from her, you know that kind of stuff. Nobody can tell me nothing. Kino people will still come and tell you, no, without D, Kino is all this, Kino is that. When D left and Kino went back to his charity stop, we saw what happened to his views. Go back, now that D is there, go back and tell me about it. These guys are not even listening to themselves. We are too big to come here and be romancing words, you know. What is this? Let's watch them. You know when you are in a relationship and you have decided to bring it on camera because one thing i've noticed is it's gonna be too hard for d to have any relationship off camera yani at some point you must see because they are almost like in 24 hours they have camera on for at least 12 hours probably they take off the camera for 12 hours every day they have to create content and even if they are not posting they keep producing producing i mean full-time vloggers are like that tell me when she will have time with this person if she's someone that lives her life like her life is open here so it's a struggle for her to have a relationship except except if this person is a busy person and the person is doing something different let's say this, this the person is doing nine to five it might be possible. But again, if she brings that person two to three times on here, we will start looking. Who is this? Who is what's going on here? We've seen this person yesterday. We are seeing him. Who is he to do? Is he you understand? We are nosy like that. <laughs> hey, we are very, very nosy like that. So now everything they are doing, you know, takes her around for sure. She will be fueling the car. You can't tell, you know. Kino takes her around. Of course, who is fueling that car? D, what are you telling me? Kino is doing all that. Kino, is, Kino will abandon everything. But the good thing is, why Kino is with her? Kino is also recording for his channel. So they are both, you know, doing this and helping each other. 
So Kino is doing all this and he's very calm. Like he's flat. He's not even he, yeah, they sit together, but there's no chemistry. The way a guy is supposed to treat a lady, D is now being the guy, and Kino is being the lady. You know, whenever a guy and a lady are somewhere in public, the lady will be like, Oh, how is it? Do you like the chips? Is it cripsy or is this too soft? Are you enjoying the meal? How is the drink? You know, a guy would ask you, and you'll be like, mm, It's nice, or I don't like it. Even if you like it, you'll be doing like, mm -hmm. You know, that kind of stuff. You'll be acting. Mm -hmm. All those bedroom stuff. This is what we ladies do when we are out there. You understand? And the guy will be the one like trying to start up conversation. The guy will be the one trying to open up, open your mind, make you feel at home, make you talk and everything. Okay? While they were eating, I'm going to let you guys see. While they were eating, D was asking him, how is it? Do you like it? And Kino was like, mm. didn't say anything. Hey! Alma, meanwhile, he's supposed to ask you, as a lady, do you like it? Me, I don't know. But I just hope that this girl will pick her pieces and move. Don't go where you are not needed. Don't go where you are not celebrated. Now, nobody should tell me that she's there because of her channel, her views. This girl is getting good views, even in Yabuhanze. Go back and look at her channel. It's not just about Jamaica. Her views has been good. She has, her channel has been growing. Even when she was not in Jamaica. When she left Jamaica, before she came to Jamaica, she has been getting a lot of views. So it's not even about views. It's not about her YouTube. She is madly crazy in love with this guy. And this guy got no time for him. This guy is just entertaining him for his YouTube career. Because of his YouTube career. My English is refusing to English anymore. Let's watch them. I don't know what I gave him. I know the team. Okay, all right. It's best for that. Oh, I can't get $2,000 Jamaican. $2,000 Yeah. I'm a Jamaican. No, when you tell me Jamaican, of course it's Jamaican. Oh, this is for the leg. Now I know the thing. Where's for the leg? Oh, let me, for the leg, how much is it? Make if you don't know the tingle, you soon know. There's English saying that says, I don't know how, we have something like that in my dialect. A lady should be seen, not heard. I don't know if I'm right. Actually, you will not believe that Esther, all this while, throughout their vlog, Esther was there with them. You will hardly pick her voice. Have you seen it? How pleasant, how sexy it is. But here this girl. <laughs> now, she knows that even her own audience doesn't like the way she laughs. It's not even like Coco Mama knows how to laugh. But I'm just saying, you understand? <laughs>
Even my own laugh. <laughs> Even my own laugh might be pissing some of you guys off. <laughs> Her own is too much. That's what I want to say. Okay? And she is being too dramatic. She's being... You come to these guys, and this is their country. You should pack one side. You should calm down. You should step low, bend low, listen. Because men also, you know, when you are around a man and you are doing the talking, doing the talking, do, 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 I can understand she's creating content, but I'm thinking that she's also like that off camera, okay? You are doing, you are showing that you know too much. Oh, before this guy will bring this conversation, you have already collected it from him and you are analyzing, you are, oh, according to this person, no, you are even trying to tell them about their country, where they were born and raised. You understand? It's not nice. It's a turn off. Especially when you are not yet, I can understand if this person has married you, you have spent time with him, you, you guys have known each other, you guys have met repeatedly. In fact, you have secured your things, you have secured your ring. Yani, there's nothing else you will lose except if it did not work. Okay? But in the beginning, you are very loud, lousy like this. All we can hear is your voice. We barely hear Kino talk. This girl will not even allow Kino to say anything. Maybe this is just me. Drop in the comment section and let me know what you think about, you know, her energy whenever she's around this guy. Her energy to me is not looking good. Something is not right there. Mm -mm. Something, something is not clicking. Let's watch her. You have a Lamborghini? You have a good size buggy in it. <laughs> Forgive your good sex. Ah! <laughs> good Sleep. Imagine. Imagine something make you, you could die. Something like that. It's crazy. <laughs> but now we cannot see them because the lights are on. But it can happen because, you know, a tree house, of course, and we live inside the bush. There's so many trees. During the, the day, you yeah. can see them because you are inside the bush. No, no, but this owner need to buy. Not you need to buy, by the way. The owner need to buy the the, huh? the cage. You need to send him a cent. You he's supposed to buy five, six. Yeah. And to put, not you. Yeah, guys, we only stay two people here. Although it's a two bedroom, but we only. I live here by myself, but now Koho girl is my guest. And now she sleeps here because the other bedroom is I sleep alone. And I tell her to sleep on my bed, of but course. she said no. You me and this was this experience in Jamaica. Can you imagine? You came to someone's country. You don't know what else to do. <laughs> Lack of content or what, I don't understand. They were all dramatic. Meanwhile, <laughs> she forgot that when she came back to her village, and I don't know what happened. Her mom forgot to lock her room or something. The rat destroyed her bedsheet, destroyed her dresses, destroyed a lot of stuff inside her room. So what does that tell you? She lives, her parents lives with rats. Here, Baba Maru again complaining of rats, uncompleted building, like he hasn't even finished building that house. And he's already struggling like this, killing rats, throwing drama. And I saw another video. You remember when Mr. Kenge went to India? There's another content creator that took him around, took him to rat temple because some cultures in India, they actually worship rats. Rat is like a pet animal to them. They eat with rats. Actually, it's more on religion side. There's a way they do it, like they see rat as their god or something. I'm not very sure. But this YouTuber that took Marwa around in India actually took Marwa to one of the temples where they worship rats, okay? And rat is just like a common thing. It's not something that you should be surprised, surprised about. Now, as a travel commando that have seen this other life in India, you go to his channel, you will see these other videos that he has done. He has seen rats everywhere, people worshipping, cuddling rats, and he's okay with it. Why was he not wowed? Now that he has rat infestation, at his villa. Why is he surprised? Why is he worried to kill those rats? And tell me why a house that is not yet completed will be full of rats like this. Mm? There's something, there's more to it. This guy should stop this. 
If you don't know what else to do, Fukuma, join us. Pull your ring light and join reaction. Mm -hmm. Maybe that will make us to live in Yabuhanze because otherwise we die here in Yabuhanze. No leave, no transfer. I can't be tired of what? If I don't drop video here, probably there's something that held me behind. Just like the way sleep did not allow me to come on yesterday. Yeah. But I understood what happened because I went out. I was out till 11 p.m. Of course, what do you expect? You go to bed early, you wake up early. But when you go to bed late, there's no way you will wake up early, you know? It is what it is. Yes, guys, if you watch till this moment, you know who you are. You're the best. You're the bestest. Thank you all for coming in today to support Coco Mama. Thank you for your love, your support, your likes, your super slap, Oga fruits. Hey, thank you so much. In fact, thank you for everything. Thank you for all you do for Coco Mama. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomness of my heart. Now, shower this video with your likes. Drop it with, 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 for Coco Mama. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys.